to the Nile cruise. As usual, we meet every Friday to bring you more about what is happening in Egypt. Well, usually we are keen to bring you more about political issues, culture, literature, um, charity things. Well, a lot of things that we are used to talk about every week. So before we start, let me say hello to my colleague Ahmed. Ahmed, hello. Hello, Nashwa. Exactly as Nashwa said, yes, we'll be talking about everything in Egypt in the past few weeks. Uh, so stay tuned to us. We'll be watching this after this short break. But don't forget to follow us on Nile Cruise, on Nile TV, on Facebook, Twitter and Google Plus. So stay tuned. <laughs> is and her fourth visit to Egypt only this year. True? That's right, yeah. I came uh, once in March, then again in the summertime, mm -hmm. then again for Christmas and New Year, mm -hmm. and now I'm back again. So four times in one year, yeah. We are lucky to have you, uh, but why? You. Why? Because I feel that Egypt is my second home. Mm -hmm. um, I've been to Egypt maybe 20, 25 times. When was the first time? The first time was when I graduated from university, I made some money and the first thing I did is I came to Egypt. My love affair with Egypt began when I was only seven years old mm -hmm. and uh, my father, he uh, took me to the British Museum mm -hmm. uh, to see the uh, treasures of Tutankhamun mm -hmm. and they were on tour and so we waited in the rain for three hours mm -hmm. and I was very bored and I got inside and he took me to the treasures and I couldn't believe my eyes only at seven years old mm -hmm. mesmerized spellbound I was completely uh, that's when I fell in love with Egypt and from then on I've been reading about Egypt we watched the documentaries mm -hmm. on the TV channel 4 mm -hmm. Discovery Channel and you know it brings Egypt to life but you have to come here yeah. you have to come and see the temples the people are so lovely people so much hospitality because you know England and Egypt we have a very long history together very very long and we've always been good friends so uh, yeah for me this is this is my second home I've traveled all around the world mm -hmm. but I keep coming back to Egypt yeah I keep coming back. as I said before we're lucky to have yeah. you but speaking about this experience yeah. indoors I mean inside the museum but what about your first impression when you were here in the open in in Luxor and Luxor of course is considered as an opal temple or the whole city Absolutely. what was your first impression this time or when I first arrived no first when arrived I first came here uh, when I first came here it was over 20 years ago mm -hmm. so things have changed a little bit but I feel so safe here I feel safer in Luxor in uh, in Aswan mm -hmm. than I do in London mm -hmm. in London I don't feel so safe but here you can walk around, you, you, the people are very friendly, the hospitality is second to none in Egypt. Everybody, you know, everybody loves the English and we English, we love Egypt. Yeah, yeah. Um, as you are that much experienced in Egypt, as I might say, and you became an Egyptian having Egypt, ha having Egypt as your second home. If you want to describe Egypt in few words for someone who is going to come for the first time, what you're going to say? Egypt is awesome, to use the American word. The hospitality is second to none. The temples are the most magnificent temples in the whole world. And the history and culture is fascinating. So what more can I say? I keep coming back. <laughs> and we are going to keep saying you're most welcome and it was an honor to have you on Nile TV Internet. Shukran, shukran, shukran.
Welcome back, you're still watching Noir Cruise. It's been over two years since the revolution of the 25th of January, but lingering instability is having a devastating impact on the Egyptian tourism. Between exaggerations and reality of news about Egypt, tourism has been actually suffering. So now to talk to us more about the state, the current state of tourism, is Mr. Hisham El Banna, the port member of the Swiss Club. Hello, Mr. Hisham. Hello, good afternoon. Mr. Hisham, some people believe that because Egypt of course, we all agree that Egypt has it all. We are talking about culture, civilization, uh, ancient temples, monuments that lasted and still exist years ago, thousands of years ago. The tourists will come. No way, they have to come. Do you agree with this idea? I mean, don't we have to work on it just not enough to say that no, we have it all, they will come one day? Or how do you see this statement? Um, still, still a lot of things have to be done. I mean, uh, the, the, our country is not safety enough for the tourists. Uh, we have to make the, the, the country safety to, uh, to get uh, in contact with all of these people without uh, looking after the safety in, in this country. So we, we can. Of course, uh, Egypt is very uh, well known for the, for, the, for the European people, uh, but we still not uh, settle down, you know. We have a lot of problems in Egypt, and I don't think that the tourists will, will uh, right now uh, come to Egypt without uh, a city, you know. So that's the, 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 the first thing has to be done, you know. We are not safety, but of course, we are doing our best to, 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 to keep in touch with all of these. Uh, contact with people. So security is the base. Yeah, security is the base. You know, and it needs a time also to to collect all of these uh, people again to to Egypt. Uh, Egypt is a wonderful country, but it needs a lot of things to be done first before we keep in touch with these uh, people. But Mr. Sham, do you think that uh, there's a bit of an exaggeration? when it comes to news regarding the safety uh, of Egypt and the insecurity or the security situation here in Egypt uh, within the content of the media outlets, the foreign media outlets. Do you think there is a bit of an exaggeration about these parts of news? Yeah, uh, well, I think we have to, uh, you know, arrange a lot of things to be, to, to be done. For example, safety first, and then after that, uh, go through to the to the embassies go through to the uh, the, the investors because uh, they uh, they are, can do a lot of things they can help us how to get uh, in contact with people and also to train uh, people which they own tourist companies you know this this these people are uh, making everything complicated for the tourists you know uh, for example like the, the 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 investor in europe when they start to get the files of uh, of europe uh, or keep in touch with uh, some tourist company uh, over there. They don't have a system. They don't have an organization. So most of the of the companies of the tourist company, they're trying to collect the the, the, the cheaper uh, price for the tourists. So there is no system even for the price to to, to get these people even. So that that's the mean uh, that's also main problem. You know, most of the of the investors they go out of uh, Egypt to collect on to keep in touch with tourist company. But sorry, uh, they start to fight with each other about the price, about the, 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 the organization. A uh, uh, lot of things has uh, failed to the, to the tourists, but uh, it's a pity. I mean, uh, uh, there is no one can, can trust anymore the, 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 the tourist company because they, they start to, uh, to promise something which is not, it's, it's not, it's not done. It's not what well about done. the um, marketing campaigns to promote tourism, for example, when it comes to mass media? How do you evaluate it? I'm not sure, just correct me if I'm wrong, certain uh, people, or there are some people who are making some uh, initiatives, for example, and they invite, we can see this through the televisions and on the internet. But let me ask you about your target audience. Did you try to contact or to bring the foreign press? Mm. No. no, I didn't see foreign press. Mm. So. For whom are you promoting the tourism? For Egyptians, we know, we love Egypt, we would like to visit all places in Egypt. But what about the foreign press? Did you invite some important channels and magazines as well mm -hmm. for journalists, for example, to come and take a look here on Egypt and to work on this? Did we do this? I'm not talking about the government, I'm not talking about the Ministry of Tourism. I'm talking about you 
the private sector? Of course, we do contact with, we do, we do uh, a lot of contact with also some foreign companies to bring us out of the, out of the government, out of the, our, our government, out of our system. We're trying to, to keep in touch with all of these people, clear to them that Egypt are 60 countries, so uh, we would like to try again to, to hand out uh, 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 the operation or to hand over the operation and to start again from the from the from zero, uh, but there is no any more trust, you know. And a lot of things have to be done. For example, like uh, we are not uh, able to to receive a tourist, you know, because we are we are not a, a high qualification as well. So I mean, we we don't have a tourist, uh, but we don't do uh, something for it. I mean, our personnel, our companies are not trained enough to hand. Uh, to handle with, with the tourists. When the tourists are coming to us, they find a lot of problems here even. So we don't use this time which we don't have a business, with, which the business are, are not uh, running as well, to train our people. You know, that's, that's also our big problem in Egypt, that we don't train our staff. We are not well educated to, to, uh, to deal with tourists. So people... It sounds good as long as we, are, we know our main problem. So why we are not working on it? Because nobody's taking care about stuff like this. Everybody wants the, the tourists the, the, to come back to Egypt again. But the problem is, are you quali qualified uh, for, for something like this? Uh, uh, did you know how to run the business? Or you just want the tourists to come, uh, come to Egypt? How they come? When they come, they find a lot of problems. There is a lot of promise which is uh, not true. Uh, uh, Sometimes, you know, I, I'm going to tell you an example. Uh, 